If you are a business owner or an entrepreneur who wants to launch their own telemedicine app similar to ZocDoc, then you have come to the right video. In this video, we will show you how a patient can easily use our ZocDoc clone app to connect with a doctor for a consultation and purchase prescribed medication directly from the app. Using our base model of a telemedicine app, you can also create specialized medical apps such as a mental health app, a pregnancy app, a physical therapy app, an elder care platform, or a nutrition and diet app. Join us as we explore a more detailed step-by-step -step working of our ZocDoc clone app. We start with the patient app. To book an appointment, the user first needs to log in or sign up to the patient app. The user will enter their 10-digit contact number and receive a 6-digit OTP, which they will use to log into the app. Upon logging in, the user will land on the homepage of the app. There are two main options, book your appointments, which allows the user to book an appointment with a doctor, and pharmacy, which enables the user to purchase medications from the pharmacy. Let's click on, book your appointment. This will take us to the department section, which lists all available departments. If the user wants to connect with a general physician, we will click on that option. Next, we see the list of doctors in the general physician department, along with their details. Each doctor's profile shows options at the bottom for, consult online or, at clinic. For example, Dr. David Jones offers both online and clinic consultations, and both options are enabled on his profile. On the other hand, if we check Dr. Amanda Wilson's profile, we can see that she only provides consultations at the clinic, as only that option is enabled and the online option is disabled. Let us assume that an online consultation is to be done. We select the Consult Online button in Dr. David Jones' profile. Next, we are taken to the appointment page, where detailed information about Dr. David Jones is shared along with appointment booking details. Let's book an appointment for July 16th, Tuesday. From the available hour slots, we select the 11 a.m. slot and then press the Book Appointment button to confirm the appointment. After this, we are taken to the payment page. At the top, we see the booking slot we selected earlier. Below that, we have Dr. David Jones' profile, followed by the consultation fees, taxes and charges, and the total amount to be paid. Next, there are several payment methods available, credit or debit cards, app wallet where we have a balance of $320.5, and other options like Google Pay, Apple Pay, Stripe, Venmo, and PayPal. There is also an option to apply a promo code if the user has one. Since there is a balance available in the user's wallet, we will select the wallet to make the payment. So, we choose the wallet as payment method and then click the make your payment button. Next, if our booking is successful, we are taken to a page that provides the user with the update booking confirmed along with the booking details. The user is also given the options to cancel or reschedule the booking. Additionally, there are some terms and conditions related to the online booking for the user. We now move on to the doctor app. To access their app, a doctor first needs to log in or sign up to the doctor app. The doctor will enter their 10-digit contact number and receive a 6-digit OTP, which they will use to log into the app. Now this login is done by Dr. David Jones with whom we earlier booked an appointment. After logging in, Dr. David Jones, with whom we previously booked an appointment, can view his daily tracker. This tracker shows the total patients under his care, the phone calls he needs to make, and his total appointments for the day. Below this, there are notifications displaying his recent chats with patients. By clicking View All, Dr. Jones can access the chat screen, which contains data of all his previous and current chats with his patients. If he clicks on any specific chat, it will open up. For example, let's click on the chat with Barbara Michelle. This will open a new chat screen displaying all recent chat activity between Dr. Jones and Barbara. From the bottom menu bar, if we click on the Profile button, we get access to Dr. Jones's profile. Here, at the top right, is his ID, which is system-generated and cannot be modified. However, 
Dr. Jones can change his profile picture. There are further personal details like name, contact number, email, age, experience, and gender. At the bottom, there is a biometric authentication option which is currently disabled. Next, if we click on the Visits button in the menu bar, we see today's appointments for Dr. Jones at the top. The first one is with a patient named Mike Wood from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Below that, there is a stats section that can be checked on a weekly and monthly basis, followed by details of recent visitors. Let's click on the session with Mike Wood. We are now at the patient profile page. Here, we can see Mike Wood's patient history, and Dr. Jones has the option to accept or reject the video call. Let's press the accept button. Dr. Jones now needs to initiate the call by pressing the start call button to connect with Mike Wood for a video call. Then comes the actual video call consultation between the doctor and the patient. Once the call is done, the doctor needs to press the complete call button, which moves the doctor to the prescription page. Here, Dr. Jones will add his notes and the names of the medications that Mike Wood needs to take. He will also specify the time around which the medicines are to be consumed and whether they should be taken before or after eating food. Once the doctor presses the update button, this prescription and its details will be reflected in the patient's app. There, the patient has options to either chat with the doctor to clarify any doubts or proceed to the online pharmacy. If the patient presses pharmacy, they will be taken to our online pharmacy. We now move on to the pharmacy section. The pharmacy section of the app allows the user to directly purchase the medicines prescribed by their doctor. Here, we see the two medicines prescribed to Mike would appear in the recently purchased section. The patient can select the quantity of both medicines and then click on the cart icon at the top. This takes us to the checkout page. There are the two medicines we added to the cart, followed by the medicine cost, taxes and charges, and the total amount to be paid. Below this is the customer's address. Several payment methods are available, credit or debit cards, app wallet with a balance of $140.6, and other options like Google Pay, Apple Pay, Stripe, Venmo, and PayPal. Since there is a balance available in the user's wallet, we will select the wallet to make the payment. We choose Wallet as the payment method and then click the Order Now button. This is followed by the order confirmation screen, after which the customer can track the order once the delivery agent starts traveling from the pickup location to the customer's address. With this, we come to the end of our telemedicine app overview. This is a base version of our app, and it can be upgraded further as per your requirements. As specialists in app development, we've transformed startups into profitable ventures. Leveraging our advanced AI capabilities, data encryption, and blockchain architecture, we empower you to control your source code, ensuring security and innovation. With our expertise, we can create a telemedicine app tailored to your needs. If you're interested in creating your own telemedicine app like ZocDoc, simply click on the link provided in the description. You can schedule a free consultation and demo session with us today at a time that suits you best. Our team of experts will be happy to answer any questions you may have and provide you with a personalized demo tailored to your business needs. To check the working of our robust admin panel, continue watching the remaining video. Now, we will give a live demonstration of our admin panel. Let's start with the main dashboard. On the main dashboard screen, we can see the total number of users registered on the patient application, the total number of consultants registered on the expert application, and the total number of booking requests made on the patient application. By clicking on it, we can view detailed booking information. Below that, we can see the total revenue generated on the entire platform and access the sales analytics report. The data can be filtered on a weekly and monthly basis, helping we track total revenue and the ongoing performance of the business. Here we can also see a list of recently joined consultants, below which, we can check the revenue history and details. We now move on to the configuration section, 
which allows us to configure service type, categories, and insurance. We start with first with the service type. From here we can add a new service type to the application or edit any existing one. To add a service type, click on the Add Service button. Then, select the service name, upload the service description, choose its availability status, assign a service type based on the service being offered, and click Create. We now move to the Categories. From here we can add a category to the platform. To add a category, click on the Add Main Category button. Then, fill in the attributes such as category name, enable or disable the service, category description, choose whether to display the category on the front end, upload the category image, and select an item, and click Create. We now move to Insurance. From here we can add an insurance listing to the platform. To add a new insurance plan for any service type or category listed on the application, click on Add New Insurance. Then, enter the name and click Submit. So let's enter a name and submit it. We see that the insurance listing gets updated with our new entry. We can now edit this insurance listing, click on the Edit button. This way we can assign a category to that insurance listing and it will reflect in the insurance listing. We now move on to the user and reviews section, which allows access to the consultant, users and reviews databases. We start with the consultant. From here we can manage all the data of consultants who have downloaded and registered on the expert application. We can edit their profiles, delete them from the platform, reset their passwords, or view their profiles. We can also see their details, such as name, email, and category, and change their status. To add a new consultant, click on the Add New Consultant button. We can then enter the consultant's email address, name, password, phone number, total years of experience, and assign a category and click Submit. Next we move on to the Users. From here we can manage all the data of users who have downloaded and registered on the user's application. We can edit their profiles, delete them from the platform or reset their passwords. We can also see their details, such as name, email, contact number, total requests and their approval status. Next, we move on to the Reviews section. From here, we have access to the reviews that users give to consultants after their checkups. We can see the patient's name, comment, rating, consultant's name, and the date of the review. We now move on to the marketing section. As an admin we can manage banners, packages, master interval and coupons. We start with the banners. Here, we have access to the details of previously created banners. To add a new banner, click on Add New Banner. We can set the banner's validity date range, upload images for the website and mobile application, assign a category, select the service provider, choose the class, select the banner type, position it as needed, and click Submit. We now move to the Packages. Here, we have access to the details of previously created packages for the users. To create new packages or edit existing ones, click on the Add New Package button. You can then select the package title, set its description, upload a related image, set the pricing, select the package type and category, specify the total number of sessions or requests, and choose whether to enable it or not. Finally, click Submit. We now move to Modder Intervals. It provides the working timing which has the start time and the end time. We now move to the Coupons section. Here, we have access to the details of previously created coupons for users. To add a new coupon, click on the Add New Coupon button. You can then select the date range, enter the coupon code, choose the category it belongs to, specify the service type, select the discount type, Set the total discount value, minimum discount value, maximum discount value, and the usage limit. Finally, click Submit. We now move on to the Settings section. As an admin we can manage pages, app settings, variables, FAQs, and app version. 
We now move to the pages. From here, we can manage the general settings for both the expert and customer applications, including the content displayed on various pages. To update the About Us page, click on Edit, make the necessary changes, and save them. As we are not making any changes, let's cancel to return to the main pages screen. We can also add new pages by clicking on the add new page button. We now move to the app settings. From here, we can manage various app settings such as the fab icon, random images, and color settings. We now move to the variables. From here, we can set values for various important variables such as charges, slot duration, currency, and more. We now move to the FAQs section. Here, we can manage the frequently asked questions. We can edit existing FAQs or create new ones by clicking add new FAQ and then entering a question. We now move to the app version section. Here, we can find the version details of the app. We now move on to the last section, which is reports. It includes payouts. From the payouts section, as an admin, we have the right to accept or reject the payout requests generated by the doctors or consultants from the expert application. We can view their requests in detail and then decide to accept or reject the payout. With this, we have covered everything related to the admin panel. Please note that this is the basic version of our telemedicine app. Should you require additional specific features, we can customize and upgrade the app to meet your needs. If you want to create a telemedicine app for your own business, then we at Code Brew Labs are here to help you. With over 5,000 satisfied clients worldwide, we're experts in custom software and app development. Contact us by clicking on the link given in the description. Fill up the form with your name, your email address, your contact number and a few details about your project along with the date and time slot when you will be able to attend a call. Click Submit which will take you to the next screen where you can select your project budget and your industry, after doing that click Submit. And now your query is registered with us. This way, you can easily schedule a free consultation and a personalized demo session with us at a time that suits you. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching this video.